oracular synchronicity and the image well i'll get to the image in a moment uh, this card relates to oracles and the principle of synchronicity and indicates an auspicious time to consult oracles since you are consulting an oracle this may indicate that you are presently in tune with the Tao. An oracle consultation is a conscious synchronicity, a microcosmic mirror of your macrocosmic orientation toward the Tao. Depending on the position of this card in your spread, you may want to do further readings on other aspects of your life. This is also a propitious time to reflect on your relationship with oracles and to learn more about them. The image documents the first time I ever photographed someone tossing I Ching coins. It caught a coin landing perfectly on its edge. Years later, I took another photograph. It was the second time of someone tossing I Ching coins, and it also captured a coin landing on its edge. This card also relates to the Tao of photography. By the time you see a picture, it's too late to take it. The general meaning is to be guided by anticipatory intuition to catch things before they exit the gate of change. The second time I photographed someone tossing I Ching... Okay, I said that. Hmm. Um, only you can decide if the results you get from an oracle are random or oracular whether they are random or they are oracular synchronicities, parallelisms between your psychic life or situation and the signifiers, the cards, the hexagrams of the oracle. Um, and you can read my an introduction to synchronicity on this website. Um, many people find, certainly I find, there are certain times, especially when they are sincere in approaching the oracle and truly in need, when every response is dead-on accurate. At other times, the responses seem random, irrelevant, or even misleading, and this seems to especially happen when one is redundantly or indulgently consulting the oracle. But there may be other factors that cause the principle of synchronicity to sometimes be more ascendant and other times for seeming randomness to be more in the ascendant. So if, if, if I'm in one of those zones where I'm getting every oracle reading is dead on uh, I might do several take advantage of that and do readings on different aspects of my life in ancient times and continuing to the present people often approach oracles to confirm their ego preferences to be flattered or to get answers to questions when their intuition or previous oracle has already supplied an answer Mechanically, we approach the oracle as if we were pulling the handle of a slot machine until we get a prize. The I Ching recognizes this tendency and has many relevant lines, such as in hexagram number four, youthful folly. Uh, for example, in, in, in that hexagram, it says, It is not I who seeks the young fool, the young fool seeks me. At the first oracle, I inform him if he asks two or three times, it is importunity. If he importunes, I give him no information. It does not further to persevere. If you do persevere, you may get random or irrelevant results, or far more dangerously, the oracle may mirror your own trickster energy and give you the results your ego craves, allowing you to play the fool. A moment of consulting an oracle is a networked constellation of elements. The oracle, your psyche, the particular moment in time, the method of choosing one of the oracle's signifiers, and the principle of synchronicity are the chief elements. These elements must align for an ideal moment of oracle consultation. Consider this card an opportunity to examine your relationship with the oracles. And there are follow-up links uh, like my introduction to I Ching readings. I also do a services page, rarely used, but I do a lot of uh, free oracle readings and dream interpretation for people at festivals like Burning Man and the National Rainbow Gathering. And uh, I also uh, put on the link to the history of the Zap Oracle, which is about 46 years old now. And uh, give you instructions for using the Zap Oracle and some things to consider 
before doing an I Ching reading and an introduction to synchronicity. And that's all at the bottom of this card.